We're in Miami, if you couldn't tell. Not in Boise anymore. It's freaking humid as heck. <laughs> but, being at Wadapalooza, we got team competition with Willie George, Jay Crouch. We actually did one of the team workouts this afternoon, but the weekend starts in like two days. Hopefully you guys enjoy all the shenanigans that we get up to. <laughs> and Turner. Turner, do you want to come say hi to your fans? She'll say hi later. Nar. <laughs> Nar. <laughs> Miami. Well, we got here yesterday. Dallas got in this morning. We're at Cafe Bastille. Look at that. Focus on Ellie's face. You up in Ellie's face. We got here. Hey. If you guys saw, watched any of the water pools videos last year, we pretty much ate here every day. So, big moment to be on the menu. You made it, right? You made it. You did. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a good day. Uh, Jay's here. Yeah. Willie got in late last night, but he's from uh, like the time changes all over the place. He's like, oh, I'm not gonna make it by 8 a.m. Woke up to a text message him from this morning. He's like, dude, woke up at 4 a.m., had breakfast at 5. <laughs> I'm trying to go back to bed. <laughs> so later today, though, we none of us have worked out together. So try to work out, see if we can find a worm. Figure that thing out. That's about it for the day. Um, we're gonna do just one round of one of the workouts. I forgot the name of it, but it's the bike kettlebell box step over and kettlebell snatch, just to kind of get a feel of the rounds of how long they take and how much rest we'll have and then after that i think we're gonna hit i don't know if it's called uno dos tres but it's the wall walk strict handstand push-up kipping handstand push-up double under and then barbell cycling so do a version of that that one's i think the most strategy um, of how we're gonna how we're gonna break it up who's gonna be going with who and who's gonna be grabbing which barbell. There's like a lot of factors in it. So we're not all trying to figure that out on the floor. So just kind of hit it to kind of get a feel. We'll come up with a plan, try that plan out. And we'll figure out that that's good or if we need to completely toss that one and <laughs> do a new one. But we don't want to be doing that on the competition floor. So give that a go. We still have two days before we compete. So today's Wednesday, we compete on Saturday. So even if we get sore from it, two days we can recover and uh, Ready to smash it. Where are we at? I don't know. No one's close to I don't know if But someone is opening up a gym in Miami. We'll find out the name, because they're not even open yet, but they let us come by and kind of work out. That's why everything's kind of halfway put together, but we'll throw their name up here. Shout out to those guys. What's up, Dallas? What's up? So what happened? Um, I mean, nothing really happened. It's uh, after I hurt my back at the games to help get me through uh, and have something to focus on I picked like Waterpalooza as like I'm going to prep for Waterpalooza um, and I've been making good progress and everything's like ticking along very nicely I'm at the point where I could compete um, it's just Water Blues is at a, a funny time of year where it's at the start of the next season. It's the end of our last season, but the start of the next one. And if I was to have a little setback or things didn't go well, there's not a lot of turnaround to the next season. So um, we made the tough decision to just play it safe. Um, 
knowing what like I can achieve this season if I'm healthy and um, I go into the season 100%, which I could after Waterpalooza, but there's obviously that risk when you compete that things might not go to plan. Um, so yeah, we made the tough decision to sit this one out. All eyes on the games next year, well, this year now, 2024 season. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty devastated, but I know right now it's not the time to show the work that I've been putting in. It'll be semis in the games, so. You're hungry though, yeah? Yeah. I'm literally saying like, I haven't been this excited to compete since I started CrossFit. Like, when you have done it for a little while, you sort of lose the hunger because it's there, there's pressure that comes along with it. But I'm just like, after not being able to compete, I definitely has like reignited the flame of like wanting to compete and getting excited to see what I can do. So I'm excited for the season, which I haven't been for a while. So one of the workouts that I did the first time I went and trained with Matt, it was like 2021 20, games right before it. Didn't really know Matt at the time as well, so he invited me out to train, nervous as heck. It's freaking Matt Frazier. And he had me do this rowing workout. I was like, I haven't been able to do it. it. Took me like two or three years to complete, but I finally was able to do it. I've seen your rowing paces. I think you can do it. And I was like, all right, let's go. Long story short, I sent the workout, I turned freaking blue, I made it, and was messed up the rest of that session. Like, canceled everything after it because it sucked so bad. But the thing is, I went and started, he propped up a chair behind me, Adam propped up a chair on the other side, and just watched me hit this 20 minute row workout. It was gnarly, a lot of nerves. I've done it since then, and it's not as bad. I've done it actually nine rounds straight through without the rest but we'll put the workout in the description, but it's uh, a little confusing. It's five rounds, a two minute rest, and then four rounds. And one round consists of a two minute interval, and it's a minute 40 work, 20 second rest on the rower. And the goal is to hold a 500 meter pace. So sub 140, um, smash it, 20 second rest, do that five times, two minute break in the middle, hit it again four times. Where did the 500 meter come from? Is that just like your goal or Matt's goal? Why is it 500? Why is that well, it, it just works out really perfect because you'd have to hold a 139.9 yeah. and it's a minute 40 work. So like it, the goal is to hit 500 meters it's in a minute that's 40. that's a really hard your goal in that time? It just ends up like working out like perfectly to hold the 140. Sure it does. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a perfect 500 meters. Yes, you could work hard. Like it's pretty much like work hard for a minute 40 and 20 seconds rest, but if you hold below 140, you get 500 meters, and that's like a really attainable hard goal. I did it once. One round of it. He didn't do the whole workout. He did one round of it. <laughs> so we'll show you guys do that, because it's gnarly. If you find the right pace for yourself, which 140 was the perfect pace for me in 2021. Okay, Marcus, jump up to the Too fast, 1484. I'm, I'm a rookie. Yeah. Yeah, as hard as you 
one. I mean, it's not a hard workout if you pick a slow pace for yourself, you know? But for me, it was like my max pace. Yeah. I think a good, if, it's, if you know your 2K time, it's pretty close to your 2K. Yeah. Oh, pace. Maybe yeah. get some in Look excited, bro. Yeah. No, it's good. It's been, a, it's been a, I don't know, like a month or two in the works and all the boys are together. Let's go. <laughs> I might not be smiling after this workout though. Let's see if we remember the, our, our plan. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What are you supposed to be? <laughs> we won't forget it though after this. 10 seconds. It was good. I think it's uh, I think being synchro is gonna get tough with like the hang cleans and deadlifts just because they're so quick and we're not gonna be, the front person can't see the back. So it's hard to like pace. And if we get one no rep, I feel like we're gonna get a bunch. So it's like just trying to make sure that we go slow so we don't get no reps, but not too slow so we don't lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be good. I think we I think if we clean up the deadlifts, like go go a little bit slower and then the hang cleans, I think we're pretty good. Yeah. And then yeah, it'll just be that uh front squats. The front yeah. squats. Hopefully I'm broken there and it'll be dialed. Boys will be dialed. I accused Willie of <laughs> like not like hurting a little too much on the front squats like oh dude I'll take your bar you just go to the light one and he got pretty insulted I think I was like dude I'll do it no problem he's like no <laughs> you want the lighter front squat well yeah I can it can do the front squat but he he didn't trust me <laughs> I mean he looked like he was hurting so <laughs> I was trying to be nice <laughs> I'm in a jet lag situation. <laughs> yeah. Your camera's cute. <laughs> Our camera's bigger than yours, that's the next call we have. Uh, and we were like, dude, we gotta come from Australia. We're only allowed to take like 20 kilos of stuff, so. Yeah, dude. Good times. Waiting for Justin. Guys, do vests keep you warm? And I was making fun of Justin because she's wearing a vest. They keep you warm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. He was like, what? It, he was like, should I wear this to like because it's not that warm outside? I was like, what does it do anyway? It doesn't have sleeves. <laughs> and he said it keeps your core warm. So. Why did you cut the sleeves on your sweatshirt? <laughs> I didn't, they fell off because of these huge guns. Pow, pow. <laughs> Such a mess. That's your man. Lucky me. <laughs> We're at the warm up area. Wadapalooza. 
I don't think you guys have never even seen me back here, I don't think. I haven't competed since 2019. I've done it 2016, 17, 18, 19. I completed at Wadapalooza. Did I say completed? Competed at Wadapalooza. But I did twice as a. Completed it, so. Yeah, I did complete it. So twice as a teenager, once in the RX division, and then once in Elite. Didn't do great, but I was here. And I haven't competed since. I mean, I qualified for the games that following year. And. I don't know why I haven't competed, but I haven't. But we're on a team this year. Show them how it's done. Look at this camera. Actually, I might do this for a little way better. It's way be hey, Dallas, get on my screen. Get out. Get out. <laughs> what are we doing here? We're we just going to do a clean and then drop it down on the same side. Or are we going all the way over? I've got clean and What are you doing, Ellie? Videoing. Oh. For a different YouTube channel. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh. And then just press it over. Yeah. 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 I've never touched a worm. Oh. Yeah. I went straight to individual and I haven't done a team competition, so. Yeah, I would say I, I literally think it's pretty I wouldn't say easy but like pretty smooth if you're all doing the same movement at the same time like if your timing gets off you're each lifting the part of the worm by yourself so it's like hard so as long as their communication is good and they're like moving at the same time they're going to be sweet We obviously had to leave Boise. We couldn't take Theo here, so we got a uh, like house sitter, a dog sitter. She ha also has a golden retriever, so like Theo gets along with her great. They have a bunch of fun together. Thought it would be great, but so happened Theo loves eating things, and he ate something. He started vomiting at night, so she took him into the vet and they got an x-ray and he had something stuck in his intestine. This was, what, uh, so Wednesday night I'm and Thursday, they sent him home Thursday night with... Uh, no, that's not the timeline. All right, Wednesday. That's not the timeline. Anyways, they sent him home with some medication to hopefully pass the object that was in there Brought him in the next morning. It did not pass. They had to put him in for surgery. And it was a lot longer than Ellie wanted. She had to do all her meet and greets today while Theo was in surgery, not knowing how he was going to come out. But it all worked fine. We got a call from the vet. From what we could tell from the x-rays, we thought it was one of... My mom got him this toy for Christmas, and it was like a milk carton with like holes in it. It's like and a soft milk pump though, yeah, like it's a dog milk. toy, it's fake, it's like. And there's like little cookies inside and he has to like try to get into it and like get out the cookies and they're little squeaky toys. It's a nice little puzzle for him. Anyway, the x-ray looked like it was one of those cookies. Cause it's like, it was like this shape sort of thing. Well like, I guess like that's the only thing that could come to mind. And the vet was like, it sort of looks like a squeaker and then it clicked that it might be one of those. But turns out, uh, it was. Freaking Daniel. <laughs> turns out it was a dummy or a pacifier, as all you Americans like to call it. So he's currently in recovery right now. Um, Grace, our dog sitter, is going to pick him up in two hours from the vet. And I'm flying out tomorrow morning uh, so I can go and be with him because he's my baby. I don't get to watch Justin, but it doesn't matter because Theo is number one. <laughs> That's the end of Thursday. <laughs> we just got a phone call from Grace, our dog sitter. She just picked up Theo from his surgery and he's back home. He hasn't really eaten anything in a couple days, but he's high as heck and he's home, so. Yeah. He'll be good. Mama's coming home though, huh? Yeah. It's gonna be the last you see of Turner.
Mm-hmm. For the weekend. So the video is going to turn to shit. Sorry, guys. It is. <laughs> We're going to see a massive drop in ratings <laughs> for, the, for the next video. But uh, Everyone just stopped watching. <laughs> everyone just stopped watching right now. But um, tomorrow, for those of you that are going to stay along, uh, we got athlete check-in. I'm doing a champions panel with some of the past games champs. Um, just briefing. I got some meet and greets tomorrow at Podium. Q&A. A Q&A. Anyways, and then competition starts. So, and then I'll be the end of video one. Video two will be competition. So, video two will be Justin's team, Team Goward, beating Jason's team. Yeah. Anyways, see y'all tomorrow. Turner, we'll see you next video. Catch you next week. Yeah. We'll know. get home and just have a whole video of Mr. CEO yeah. and his recovery. <laughs> Best view video ever. Yeah. Best view video ever. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, see y'all tomorrow. Good night. Good night. <laughs> it, bro. Justin's in a rush, eh? Bro. Did you run too? I started to and I was like, it ain't happening. Dude. No way. Yeah, he, he, he's a good guy. He left us with all his stuff to take around, so. Um, yeah. <laughs> Did he leave already? Yeah. He was, bro, he was so in he a rush. Checked in so he checked in bounds. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's a busy man, you know. Yeah, now I gotta run back. Yeah, <laughs> with that heavy backpack too. Made it. That was a hectic morning. It's pretty hot today, too. Yeah. We are relaxing for a bit. We had a friggin' hectic morning, but came back to the hotel room for a couple hours. And then we got actually podium appearance in like 30 minutes and then that's kind of it for the day competition oh. starts tomorrow what'd so what you do today that was so crazy explain well your day. ellie yeah. left for the airport this morning she set her alarm for 4 45 i woke up at that and then like said goodbye and then i was awake so then i didn't go to bed till like 6 30 or 7 probably and then I woke up at, what time did I wake up? 9.30? 9.45. Yeah, 9.45. And then we had, I had an appearance at 11, but then I, we decided that I needed to check in before that, like for our team. But then I was like, all right, we'll check in at 10.45, we'll do it super quick, and then 11 o'clock I'll make the appearance. Go to athlete check in at 10.45. It wasn't where I thought it was, and it was on the other side of the park across the street at one of the hotels, sprinted across, made it there, like right when I finished check-in, had two minutes until my appearance, made it back, did the champions panel from 11 to 12, and I had athlete briefing from 12 to one. I watched Trista compete, and then at two to like 2.45, I did like a Q and A at the stage, just had people come, ask questions, Boogie on back here after that, and then, oh, in between that, I went and got lunch with the team and discussed our strategy for tomorrow. Anyways, yeah, we're good. Just, I'm not used to doing these things when I'm competing. When I'm competing, I normally just like hunker down, and now I'm doing things. I'm not a fan of it. That's why it's for fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> This is fun. <laughs> but yeah, competition starts tomorrow. I'm still doing one appearance tomorrow for rain. But other than that, hopefully just kind of hunker down, focus on competing, not be the wink wink. And I can just cruise, you know? <laughs> It'll be good though. I'm pumped to kind of start. We got three events tomorrow, two events on Sunday. Let's wrap up the weekend. That's it. Saturday's events though are rough. That's it of video one. It's Friday night. We compete tomorrow morning. We start with bike race. It's a 5K run. Everyone does it pretty much individually. So kick off the team event with pretty much an individual event. 
Sick. Ate my cereal. Compete tomorrow. See you guys in the next video.